I don't know about you, but I have all of my Zoom recordings within Zoom and I have my tasks in Monday and I want them to be in the same place because I don't want to have to download a recording or go watch it and then find the associated task within monday.com. Let me show you how you can easily integrate the two so your Zoom recordings will show up in a task within monday.com, saving you tons of time. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. If you're using Zoom like I am for your meetings, a lot of times you wanna record your meetings. But I found that I have the recordings in Zoom, but I write my notes about the meeting in Monday, and I really want everything in the right, the same place. So I want to show you an integration that I set up that allows me to have the recordings in the same place as the information about the meeting. So I've done a few things in order to make this happen. The first thing is that on my calendar, it's already integrated with Zoom. So if I add, let's just say I set up a new meeting for right now, and I'll just call it SAS, you can see that I can add the video column Zoom meeting, okay? So it automatically will save that information. I'll hit save. Now, once my Google Calendar is connected to Zoom, I'm gonna hit the integrate button. And if you search for Zoom, you'll see that there are four options for the integration. The first is when a meeting starts on Zoom, create an item and sync it. This is the one that we're gonna use because it's gonna pull in all the meeting details. But let me just show you the other ones. When scheduling a meeting on Zoom, create an item. When a participant joins, notify someone. And when a participant is in the waiting, is waiting for the host, then notify someone. Now I'm gonna do this first one because what I want to happen is when a meeting starts on Zoom, I want it to create an item in Monday. Once it's creating the item in Monday, so then I can write all my notes there and then later it's gonna automatically sync those recordings. So you don't need to go back to Zoom and download it and then find which task to attach it to, which I realized that I never did. So <laughs> this integration was really great for me. So I'm gonna click add to board, choose my Zoom account. You have to connect to your Zoom account and I'm gonna choose which meeting. Now you have a lot of different options for meetings. I'm gonna choose this specific meeting. So any meeting this is gonna happen for. And I need to map my columns. So I can decide what I want to map. So I'm just gonna map like the meeting name is the, is the name. If I want other columns, I can bring them in. Now I also chose to map the meeting recording and this Zoom ID is automatically mapped. So if I click meeting recording, and this was just a, a URL um, column that I added, so I can add the recording link and I click done. And then I click add to board. I'm not gonna do this because I already have this automation set up on this board. And you can see this, I'm gonna show you from a past meeting um, that I have these columns with the Zoom link and the meeting recording. So now let me show you how it works. Now we're gonna go test this out. So I'm in my calendar and I'm gonna open my Zoom meeting and I'm gonna hit open Zoom and join with computer audio. So now I am in my Zoom meeting, okay? I'll just close this tab and we're gonna go back here. Now you can see that I have these, remember the meeting was um, a sync with SAS. So I am just going to refresh this and add it again. And you can see sync with SAS, which is my meeting right now that I'm in, has been created. The Zoom ID has been brought in. And if you open the updates, you can see here, it says that the meeting is started, okay? Now, when this meeting is done, if I go to this group, you could see these are two meetings that have already been completed. And if you open this, you can see here is the recording link and here's some information about the meeting. And again, the same automation that the meeting has started. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm creating a meeting within Google, a Zoom meeting. When I start the Zoom meeting, it automatically creates an item on my Monday board because then I can go in and I can write, let's just say notes, you know, set up another meeting with client. 
I've written my notes about that meeting. And once the meeting is done, the Zoom link of the recording is going to automatically show up here. So I have everything in one place. I have my to-do list and I have my recording if I need to go back and check it out if I have any questions. I highly recommend you look at these Zoom integrations. I can tell you for me, they have saved me tons and tons of time. So you should look, check them out and see if they're helpful for you. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.